Hello everyone, welcome back to the Lord of the Rings Online. This is Narlo here, say hello to everyone Narlo. Good boy. We were down here still in the circle of Isengard. We are working um, for a variety of Uruk, White Hand Uruk uh, taskmasters here. And we were working for Morflax Lackey. And he had us going here on trivial business. We were talking to Erdan. Let us rattle those shackles and get the lackey back. We were talking to Erdan. Stop standing around! And he had us fetching a crate of tools from the Amble uh, field north of here. We gotta follow the ring wall north until you see the Anvil field and the bellows. So we're gonna travel to the north now. Up oh, this way. Let's just keep following the wall until we get to the field of anvils. And I am going to cut my light on here. There we go. God knows this place is dark and gloomy and horrible whenever you don't have. Whenever you don't have. Where are the great bellows? Whenever it's not nighttime. When it is nighttime, it just gets even so much more darker and gloomier. And What the hell is this? Uh, that kind of weird tent area it looks like. Okay, it's warp tamers. I don't see any surlies right now, so we'll try and avoid those as much as we can. They aren't a hat. They aren't a, a danger to us or anything like that. But they are just a bit of a hassle. It's taking some time that we have to kill stuff that I just rather not. There's the great barrow, the great bellows, I would imagine, right there. Yep, see that surly Uruk. I'd just as soon not fight him. So let's see if we can get on around him. That definitely looks like a giant bellows there. And here's the field of ambles, that's for sure. Okay, pick up a crate of tools. Where did we find a crate of tools at in this part? There we go. That must be the glowing things up here with crate of tools written above their head. Let's say, tools you for building engines of war are contained within this crate. Good enough. And we will continue on over. Back on over to Erdan, was that his name? Erdan, yes. Bunch of FedEx quest here. Just kind of pick up and deliver. That is that, and kill t 10 rats, kill 10 giant rats, which we've also already had, are kind of the bread and butter of MMOs, isn't it? That's kind of where everything is, everything is set to go. Oh my god, I thought I'd walked around this one. Didn't realize I'd had to go that far around it. I got a feeling there's a gap in the middle there. I must. Yep, there it is. I'm gonna say a gap in the middle there that I had to have missed. All right, Erdan is back up here on top. Let's go on up and speak to him. You successfully delivered the crate tools to Erdan. Wardan gave you such trivial work. Doesn't he know you belong to Morflock now? I am going to speak with Morflock about this. Erdan should know better than to give you such trivial business. Hauling crates around, doesn't he know you belong to Morflock now? Yeah, bite me. Alright, return to Morflock within the Ring of Isengard. Where is Morflock's command? Is that the one? Isengard Depths, Morflock's command. So it's going to be down and in this direction. Okay, let's see if we can make our way back over there. Try not to run into any deep bottomless chasms while we're at it. Try not to get into any fights with any surly, surly urks. Have y'all been taking part in the Harvest Festival? Um, I actually have participated in a little bit. I've done the Barrow Run one time. Looking forward to doing some more. Apparently it goes through November 5th, I think is what they're saying. So that is cool. They started it early according to their calendar. The calendar that they had up didn't show it starting until today, actually. But uh, 
you know, we were here three days ago and they had it up and running. So, you know, what you gonna do? If they want to uh, force us to, to have festivals early and have fun, well, I guess we'll just have to do that. More flack. More flack. Where the heck are you? I see a ring, so you must be right on around the other side of this one. This place is a confusing jumble of old tree roots and brambles and decrepit bushes and all, that's for sure. And you standing in the middle of the bushes don't help too much. Feels like cool hand Luke, just shaking the bushes, boss. Just shaking the bushes. I do not think you need a shadow any longer. I may have been wrong about you after all. These others complain about the work they do for me, and it is only fear of my retribution that keeps them in line. But you have served me well and without complaint. I do not think you need a shadow any longer. You will stay in line, or you will answer to more flack. That will be guard enough. Cool, so we're gonna get the prisoner bandana now to go with the others. Tell Fosh he's to keep you busy until I send for you. Chapter 22, Feed the Prisoners. Go to the caverns and tell Fosh that he is to keep you busy until I call for you. If he gives you any trouble, you come and let me know. You get to the depths by way of the door north of the tower. Once you're down there, keep taking the slopping pass, sloping pass down to the center of the cavern where Fosh has his command. So we need to go back and talk to Fosh in the Isengard depths. Alright, so does this mean we're not going to have to deal with that guy anymore? At some point, we can get rid of our lackey. I wonder if he will uh, disappear when we go through the gates, since we no longer need a guard. Oh, fooled them again, haven't we? Okay, whoops. You had a ring over your head like you needed to talk to me or something. I guess just because you're a quest type person. Let's actually go around the base of the thing here. Is there a passage leading up? Hmm, I was thinking that perhaps that was the, the way to get up to it, but it doesn't look that way. Wonder how. I mean, I'm assuming Saruman and the wizards could just magic themselves up there. We'll keep going around until we find the actual actual entrance way. Is this it? Yeah, I think this is it. There we go. Nope. Thinking that was it, but that just leads to more tumble of rocks there. And I was thinking that's the entrance whenever we saw it earlier. So let's continue on around. That was nasty. Starting to feel like a cornfield here. I hate being in cornfields. Oh, there's one of the surly orcs, it looks like. Yep. Let's take him out. By now, the word would have gotten around that you don't mess with Morflax, Morflax little pet, because he will kick your butt. Ooh, yes, indeed. Let's zoom in so we can get an unobstructed view there. Very nice, unobstructed view of an Uruk's butt. Very nice. I like, I like Orthanc. Well constructed. Good job, guys. Good job. Okay, so let us continue on around to the north until we get to the gates that goes back down to the depths. Is that where I'm headed here? Is that the... Yep, Isengard Depths. So we are getting closer. We just need to get around the tower. There we go. I guess if we actually went along the pathway, it would help, wouldn't it? But why take the road... Um, is that the depths? That's the depths. Back down to see Fosh. And did we finally lose our little babysitter here? Nope. Still got our babysitter. Dang it. Alright. Take the sloping paths down. Let's not bite the surly if we can avoid it again. It's no danger at all. It's just a 
an annoyance when I'm wanting to try to get this done. Let's see, does that lead down to anything other than death? Um, yeah, those look like things I don't want to land on, even with safe fall. So we will continue on around until we find a safe place to jump, you know? Even with safe fall, I mean, we'd survive the fall, but I got a feeling landing in those uh, grinding gears and all might not be the best of plans. There we go. You do that, you stupid Uruk. Whoops. This is another place where a nice safe fall would be nice, but... Apparently we can just slide down the edge. And Fosh. Where is Fosh now? There we go. Fosh's command. Hello, Fosh. You aren't going to like this. Morflock says you can walk about unguarded? <sighs> well, it won't be worth my hide if you cause trouble. Fosh snorts loudly. Go help Bark in the kitchens. You know where they are. And be quick about it. You might be Morflack's latest pet, but I won't have you getting underfoot and slowing things down. Go talk to Bark in the kitchen. Now, bet this is where we start getting into that whole situation where, uh, remember those people that we saw? The, the ones that we saw just kind of sitting around doing nothing that I was predicting. Maybe we can entice them into a rebellion. I'll bet that's where we start running into these guys. All right, let's see here. The kitchens. Let's go this way. I think the kitchens are up this way. Yeah. All right. I will see you when they get to the kitchens. There's no point in putting you through watching me find my pick my way back up there. So I'll see you back whenever we get to the kitchens and get talking to Bach. And we'll see you then. Okay, we've made it back into the slop heaps here without too much trouble. There's the surly. Where is this bark guy? Um, I bet I should have turned to the right up here. So, left now. Yes, yeah, such a wonderful smell. I can definitely smell what the bark is cooking. <laughs> yes, thank you, thank you. That's why I only do one show a night, folks. Please remember to tip your waitresses and try the slop. All right, Bach. Back for more? I'm surprised you're still alive. Bach sneers at you, his fangs bared, and hands you a dirty rag. Clean the slop up off the floor. You know how it's done. All right, clean up the piles of slop. Six piles of slop again. Let's see. We can do it, maybe if we do it close to Dulon here, because he really looks like, you know, I mean, he's named, and he really looks like he doesn't really belong in here, you know? Oh, happy. Happy Harvest Math. Let's know, how did you celebrate Harvest Math? By cleaning up slop in the pork kitchens of Isengard. Okay. Dulan has tried to catch your eye. Talk to him without attracting attention. There we go. What did I tell you? I knew this is what would be going on. I'll turn my back this turn this way so I can actually see uh Bark over there. Hey, you there. No, don't look at me. Hey, you there. No, don't look at me. I don't want to attract attention. Dulon keeps wiping down the table and tells you out of the side of his mouth. I've gotten my hands on a pinch of poison, just a thimbleful. If I give it to you, can you add it to one of the meals for the Urukai? Don't let anyone see you. 
Dulan silently hands you a small half shell containing a few drops of clear liquid. So we quietly add the poison to an Urkai meal. Okay. I told you. I told you. I have played enough of these games to know how it's gonna how it's gonna go working. It's kind of like they say another. What was it in the movie uh, The Bone Collector? I think that was the name of it. It's like people were saying that they had figured out who had done the uh, who was the villain of the crime in the first five minutes because it's like okay, there's a named actor over there who's in the background doing stuff and uh, nobody's drawing any attention to him. He must be the criminal. <laughs> Meal for an Uruk. This meal is intended for an Uruk. It smells foul to your nose. You secretly add the poison to the Urukai meal and return to your task. I wonder who we poisoned. Are we poison poison Bach? I'll make number six be the one right up there so I can keep an eye on it when it happens. Five. And six. There has to be a reason why this one's sitting right here, isn't there? Okay, use the slop in the bucket in the kitchen to squeeze out the dirty rag. You do everything slowly and poorly. Is every hobbit as useless as you? Go fill up a pan from the slop bucket and carry it to the bucket in the dungeons. It's time for the prisoners to be fed again. Hmm, all right, well we poisoned that, but apparently we haven't gone any further along that particular line. So carry the slop bucket down to the dungeons again. We've done that before. And once again, we will catch up with you whenever we get down to the dungeon. So we're going to turn left and then run as far north as we can go. So we'll see you when we get to the dungeons there. Alright, we have reached the, reached the dungeons once more. If I can find which gate it is we go through. I remember there was somebody in here that we kind of talked to as well. I want the right hand tunnel. That's where the slot bucket is now. Okay. I do remember there was somebody down in the dungeons that we uh, had talked to. Or could talk to. Tip the slop into the bucket and it makes a sickening sound. There we go. Baldagar. Let's talk to Baldagar. You've managed to slip away from your guard. That is good. That is good. That is very good indeed. Baudagar peers from side to side, making sure the guards are out of earshot. I am working on a plan to escape, Narlo, but I could use your help. Akka was once the steward of this place, but now he is a prisoner like the rest of us. Chapter 23, The Wizard's Veil. Vale. One of the other prisoners was once the steward of this place. His name is Akka, and he ran the day-to-day -day affairs of Saruman's household while the wizard concentrated on other matters. But Akka fell out of favor with Saruman, and is now a prisoner like the rest of us. There is little do in these dungeons but talk, and Akka has boasted that he knows secrets about Isengard that none save Saruman possess. Talk to Akka about these secrets. He may reveal something that we can use to escape. Will do, and that will get us the prisoner's boots. All right, let's go talk to Akka. What are you, Akka? Are you human or? Hmm. Very old human, kind of distinguished looking human. I know secrets, secrets of this place, secrets you might use. 
I was a steward of Isengard, and this is how I am repaid for my long service. It is all Grimmer's doing. I would tell you of my fall if you wish to hear the tale. I know secrets, secrets of this place, secrets you might use. All right, talk to Akka and listen to his story. Let me take a quick look. I'll pause there for a second. Let me see how long this has been. And if we've got a reasonable amount of time, God knows how long this story's going to go. He looks like he's one of those people that can probably bore your ear off and tales about his glory days. We'll be back. I'll be back in just a moment here. All right, folks, we are back. We are definitely going to stop right there. I clicked on the uh, talk to Akka, and it comes up. It, it you one of these instances where you take on the role of Grima Wormtongue. So uh, we're definitely that's definitely going to take longer than ten minutes. I will guarantee you that will be an episode all in its own. So that is where we will stop. Right, we will sit here and we will share a pipe. Uh, a bowl of pipe weed with Mr. Akka to remind him of the happy days. Alright, I am going to be back at work for the next couple days. The next three days I will be back at work so I won't be producing anything to get up. I'll probably be just grinding away at the Harvest Festival. So everybody get out there, do the Haunted Burrow, have fun in the festival, get your mounts, get your kites, and we will see you next time. Thank you for coming along. Hope you've enjoyed it. And next time... Ooh, wouldn't it be Sunday, I suppose? On Sunday, we will continue along and we will talk to Akka here and find out just what kind of sleazy, slimy things we can do as Grima Wormtongue to overthrow him from his position of authority and respect. So we will see you then. Thanks for coming along. Bye-bye.